Hello all my Kenvians, long time no see, and welcome to a new episode of Snackin'. Today is the 4th of July here, and hopefully this video will actually be going out on the 4th of July. <laughs> so, um, if there is very little editing in this video, I do apologize. It was probably a little bit of a rush job. <laughs> but, um, today, uh, I'm gonna be stepping away a little, just temporarily, from the British snacks. Those are coming up in a few days, believe me. Um, but, uh, those of you in the U.S. at least may know that Oreo has come out with a lot of different flavors of Oreos <laughs> in recent years. And while I haven't had an opportunity to try all of them, as someone with an admitted sweet tooth, I have loved Oreos for most of my life. And so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying three of their special flavors. Uh, but before I try them, I'm going to be having one of their regular Oreos, as well as their golden, uh, well, it's a double stuff, but it's uh, one of their golden or vanilla cookies to sort of act as a control for how all of these taste. And I do have some water to cleanse the palate, so to speak. And I'll be trying each cookie in two ways. One, just its regular self. And then two, I will be doing what you should be doing with Oreos, which is dipping them in milk. Which I'll actually go ahead and prepare my cup here. And, <clears throat> and if anyone is curious, uh, yeah, this is 2% milk. Uh, just regular milk, not almond milk or anything like that because this was readily available. <laughs> but okay, so, uh, obviously I'm going to start off with the first one. You know, give my thoughts. If you've had an Oreo before, you probably know exactly what I'm going to say. So, uh, I don't know, you may want to skip forward a little bit. But, nonetheless, let's give it a try. Hmm. Now this is just, it's classic. Good chocolate flavor from the cookie itself. And then in the middle, just a little bit of cream that just, again, it makes that classic Oreo flavor to me. And the cookie is nice and crunchy, which is perfect for dipping into milk. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the times I've had Oreos lately, it feels like maybe they were close to being out of date or maybe they had been left out too long because they were a little bit, not mushy, just not as crunchy as you would like it to be. So, yeah, actually getting one fresh out of the package is a nice change for me for once. And, as I said before, it's time, time, time to do the milk dip. Give it a few seconds just to absorb the milk. And here we go. Ah! Oh no! The milk overboard. Hmm. Again, it's just that classic flavor. And the classic Oreos go so well with milk. I, I mean, it's really hard to describe it any other way. They also work really well with almond milk or any alternatives that you might prefer. Um, if, you are, if you're not a person that likes things to be overly sweet, I would definitely steer away from like sweetened almond milk, or I would go for the unsweetened kind. And then also probably avoid flavors, because almond milk comes in, well, the one I know of for sure is vanilla. So probably steer away from vanilla and stick with the unsweetened if you go with the alternative milks, just because th that might be a little bit overly sweet for you. But now it is time to dig into the golden double stuff. And to be honest, it has been a while since I, I mean, it's been a while since I've had Oreos in general, but these, it has been even longer. Just mainly because when most people get Oreos, they go for the regular Oreos. So getting the golden one just feels kind of wrong in a way. But, bottoms up. Hmm. Now, I am a fan of vanilla. 
uh, which you know can be good or bad depending on your perspective. But these are really good. It's missing that again that classic Oreo flavor with the chocolate, but it is a good solid cookie overall. Um, and I love the double stuff, but it does lend itself to being a bit more messy, admittedly. I don't know if it's really showing in the camera or not. Maybe I'll try and zoom in. But whereas when I bit into the regular Oreo, uh, and you know it just kind of stayed as one whole piece when I bit into the golden uh, the double stuff, the cream sort of uh, moved around a bit to where the cookie's kind of becoming disheveled which is weird and somewhat annoying. So before I actually stick it in my cook, uh, in my milk before to you know, reduce the risk of getting a chunk in there that just gets soggy and gross, I'm gonna go ahead and bite off another piece and then I will do the milk test. Okay, here we go. So just like last time, hold it in there for a few seconds. I actually forgot to have a drink of water between the other one and this one, but again, these are the controls, so not that huge a deal. Mm. Not much of a difference there, really. I mean, since this is the double stuff, I feel like much more of it comes out, but I still just honestly do prefer the regular Oreo when it comes to dipping in milk. <laughs> I mean, again, both of them are good as far as being by themselves, but if you're looking for a cookie to dip in milk, which I don't know whether that's what you look for when you <laughs> look for cookies, um, definitely stick with the regular Oreos, in my opinion. But now from there, given, uh, well, before I move forward, I would say as far as rating the uh, Golden Double stuff and the regular Oreos, the regular Oreos, it's hard to say, I, I, I'm not going to rate it a 5 out of 5 just because, you know, it's, it's the control flavor. So for the regular Oreos, I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 5 just because it's really good. It's a long time classic for me. But it's not outstanding, shall we say. And then the Golden Double stuff, not as much flavor to it. Um, I, I would give it a three out of five. Again, not knocking against either one, or not knocking against the Golden Double stuff. It's just not my preference. But now we move forward into the three special flavors, which today we have cinnamon buns. Uh, AKA cinnamon cookie, blueberry pie, which actually has a graham flavored cookie with blueberry flavored cream. Does it mention anything else here? Oh, okay, so it's a cinnamon cookie with cinnamon bun flavored cream. And then finally, to just. <sighs> it's 4th of July, fireworks, Oreos with popping candy. So I assume that means that it has like pop rocks within the cream, which should be interesting. And it does actually have the classic chocolate Oreo cookie to it. So I, I, I'm interested to see how this goes, but that's going to be the finale because of course fireworks. And let's actually start with the cinnamon bun Oreos. Let's. Well, I'm not sure how to describe that. I almost felt like it tasted a bit like, or smelled a bit like graham cracker, but maybe that's sort of like the cinnamon bun smell I'm getting. It's definitely coming from the cream. So, uh, let's dig right in. You know, honestly, these are pretty good. Mm, definitely very sweet, though. The middle, the cream in the middle, I feel like if you've ever had Cinnabon, that's kind of how I would describe the center cream. It's kind of like they took the, well, you know, the cream that you get on the top of a cinnamon bun 
and it's basically this cream. It actually even has a slightly different texture than what you usually get with the Oreos. This is more like icing, I guess you would say. That's actually a pretty good apt description. It tastes more like icing than anything else. But it is good. Uh, if you're not a fan of cinnamon buns, or at least, uh, <laughs> uh, basically overall, it's very sweet, so if that's a detriment to you, uh, probably would avoid these, but if you like cinnamon buns, the taste is actually pretty accurate. But now it's time for the milk dipping test. And I'm interested to see how this one goes, especially with that uh, different cream in the middle. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I know that Oreo, like, they're doing this because they want different flavors. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually don't care for it being dipped in milk. Usually that adds to the flavor a little bit, but... It's, I mean, it maintained crunchiness, which is more like I could say for the uh, golden ones. But at the same time, th there's something about the texture of the icing in the middle, and then combined with the, uh, you know, a little bit of sogginess from uh, being dipped in milk. And I just, I don't know, I, I don't care for it. So if I were to rate the cinnamon buns, um, I would, and I didn't expect to actually be doing this. But as for by itself, I would give it a four out of five. Being dipped in milk, and I don't know, maybe this is just me and I'm being a bit weird, but I would have to rate it a two, uh, strangely. It just, it wasn't as good dipped in milk, which seems weird to say about an Oreo cookie. So yeah, I guess that averages out to a three out of five, but if you're gonna eat these, just you know, eat them as regular cookies. Don't bother with, uh, don't bother with the milk. But, moving on to the next one, we have Blueberry Pie. And I honestly kind of wish it was Apple Pie, uh, but I couldn't find any of that if they do have those, since it's 4th of July. But, I guess this does kind of work out in the end because we have, you know, red, white, and blue, 4th of July. The white from the icing on the cinnamon bun, the blue, the blueberry pie, and then the red of the fireworks, although it kind of is red and blue on the inside, but that's beside the point. So, ah, oh, they didn't, oh, okay, I, th I thought they didn't have one of the lift tops for this one, but I was wrong, this wasn't paying attention. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, I definitely get the graham cracker smell from it, not much else though. And, actually, let me take a quick look here. No, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it looks like it's a graham cracker cookie. And yeah, I, I am legitimately curious. It, the purple slash blue filling has me a little bit worried, but it does actually look like it's more classic Oreo style than you know, the icing of the cinnamon bun. So, bottoms up. <laughs> Curious. Now, okay, I'm very conflicted over this one because the graham cracker cookie is good, but once the flavor of that blueberry hits, it 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 does taste admittedly a bit artificial. It's like it, it is something I could snack on a bit, but. I don't know, just something about that blueberry, that artificial blueberry taste to it. And it has, it's not that great of an aftertaste, admittedly. It's not, hmm. I'm not a fan so far, sadly. And the thing is, I love blueberry pie, or, or and even blueberry cobbler. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's a really good version of a pie, but 
yeah, at least by itself, not a huge fan. But let's see if there's any difference uh, with the dipping in milk test. Is this it's graham crackers? I hope it is. Or the graham cracker cookie, I hope it is, but I'm worried about how that blueberry filling is going to affect it. Mm. Hmm. You know, strangely enough, <laughs> my feelings toward the blueberry pie Oreos are just about the complete opposite of what we got from the cinnamon bun Oreos. Uh, by itself, uh, without any milk, blueberry pies, just, they aren't that great. There's something about the sweetness and, sweetness and the artificial flavor of the blueberry filling that it it feels off. I didn't care for it. But after being dipped in milk, I, maybe it's the milk uh, combining with the graham crackers and it sort of mutes out that blueberry flavor some. It got a lot better. Not great, but it got better. So if I'm going to split up the ranking with this again, by itself, I would probably give the blueberry pie Oreos a two out of five, but after being dipped in milk, I would give it a three out of five. Again, not outstanding, not even really that great, but if you're going to have them one way or the other, I would recommend having them with milk. So yeah, I've, I've been rather surprised by these so far. And finally, we move on to the firework Oreos. And I, I have some initial thoughts before I get into these. And it's, uh, it's, it, it's, <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm saying right now, but the fireworks, I, I'm curious how much of the actual pop rock is in there. Is I, again, I assume it's a similar make. It may not be Pop Rocks, otherwise I'm sure there would be some sort of branding on here. It's just with popping candy. So what I may do with this one, just to make sure I get the full experience, is I'll do one full cookie by itself and then one full cookie dipped. Because I just feel like, I don't know, maybe with the filling it's supposed to be taken all at once and then you get that like little firework popping candy effect. We'll just have to wait and see. See how it smells first. It smells like regular Oreos. And the colors actually, uh, well, I'm sure, I hope maybe the camera will be able to zoom in enough to get a picture of that, but the colors kind of remind me of the little colors you'll see in birth, the birthday cake flavored ice cream. Um, and even just some birthday cakes, like, like the confetti birthday cakes, essentially. So, again, interested to see how this goes. Give it a try. Mm. Okay, I got a little bit of the crackling in there. <laughs> it's still going on. So yeah, it's definitely pop rock like, and it makes it kind of weird to talk while that's happening in the back of my throat. <laughs> but let's see, I'm mm, gonna break a little bit off from the norm. And this time, let's go with half a cookie, and then tongue directly to the icing. See if that affects the experience any. Bottoms up. Disappointing because 
I expected it to be like I would get the pop rock candy while I'm eating the Oreo, which you know it does a little bit toward the end, but it's not until afterward, like after I've already swallowed, that I'm getting that pop rock feeling like in the back of my mouth, which isn't bad. But I expected it to be more while again. I was I was expecting it to be more while I was actually eating it. So it makes that kind of weird experience of you know, chewing, eating the Oreo, but at the same time, it's like these pops are going off. But in this case, it's you know I eat it. it there might be a little hint of the pop rock going on, and then afterward it goes on for maybe like 30 seconds like i think the last one finished just maybe about 10 seconds ago while i've been talking so yeah, that was that was interesting uh, maybe i mean maybe that's the intention it's sort of like a you know grand finale kind of deal but not what i expected but now we're going to go for the whole cookie in milk and since the deal is it's uh, liquid that actually uh, kind of releases the gases. I'm curious to see um, how dipping it in milk will actually affect it. So, uh, just like with the others, we'll put it in there for a few seconds. And I, I wonder whether or not this might make it a little bit easier for that popping to happen early, early on, as opposed to near the end when I was eating it. Bottoms up. No, pretty much the same, honestly. And again, now I'm talking and there's a little pop rocks going off in my mouth. It makes it really awkward to talk, especially since I can hear them quite loudly in my head. <laughs> mm. But as for the fireworks Oreos, I mean, it's okay as a novelty, I guess. But, and I actually don't know the price difference between this and regular Oreos, if there is any. But I will say this, unless you're just really, really curious what this is like, just go with the regular Oreos, because it's a regular Oreo, but within the cream is these little Pop Rock things. And yay, it's limited edition, yay, it's 4th of July or whatever, but it's not... I don't know. It's it, it's not worth it. If I if I want to have these, I'm just going to get regular Oreos because you know again the pop rocks aren't bad, but it's just kind of weird. It'll uh, maybe a little bit off putting. So yeah, I'm the uh, flavor wise, I would rank these the same as I did the regular Oreos. It's like it's a four out of five. It's like it's the classic cream plus Pop Rocks, <laughs> that, that you don't even notice until after you've eaten the cookie. And the classic uh, cookie itself. But as for it being a limited edition version of Oreos, I can't recommend it. If I had to give it a rating, I would at best give it a three. But as if I want to say whether or not I think you should buy it to try it, I would give it a one, honestly, because again, it's just not worth it. You get, it's it's a better experience to have the regular Oreos without the Pop Rocks than having them in there. The only reason I would recommend getting these is if you're just legitimately curious and you're like, woo, Fourth of July, fireworks in my mouth. Which, if you want that, just buy Pop Rocks. <laughs> They're not expensive. So yeah, there we go. That is the Firework Oreos, Blueberry Pie, and Cinnamon Bun. And all of them were quite different in their own way. Again, the uh, Cinnamon Bun Oreos, very good by itself, just eating it as a regular cookie. Not so good when dipped in milk. With the Blueberry Pie, way too sweet by itself. Well, and especially that uh, center blueberry with the uh, sort of artificial tasting blueberry flavor. 
but when dipped in milk, much better because it sort of dulls a little bit of that blueberry flavor and brings out the graham cracker. And I don't know, maybe the milk sort of masks that artificial flavor of the blueberry as well. And then the firework Oreos, it's regular Oreos with little generic versions of Pop Rocks on the inside and just not really worth it. So if you were going to try any of them, I would recommend these two. Fireworks, eh, just go with regular Oreos and you'll enjoy your purchase much more. <laughs> Again, just in my opinion. If you all have tried any of these, uh, please do let me know your thoughts below. I'm sure that it'll just be some of the Americans. I don't know whether or not any of these actually go overseas. But if they do, you know, let me know. And if you've tried them, be sure to let me know. I'm gonna guess the fireworks probably haven't because I guess, you know, well, Independence Day here in the US is strictly a US thing. And uh, most of the world kind of hates us right now anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's my overall thoughts on these Oreos. Uh, if you'd like to see me try any more of the different varieties of uh, limited edition Oreos, let me know and I'll keep my eye out for them. But otherwise, I will be going back to the British snacks very soon. Uh, thankfully, I've been keeping them in a fridge to keep them fresh due to my long absence and breaks from doing these videos. But you can expect a new one in two days. Since today is July 4th, it will be July 6th, which is my birthday. So. That should be fun. <laughs> but everyone, thank you so much for being here for this episode of Snackin'. I hope you enjoyed it. I realize it was a bit long, but I'll probably trim it down a little bit to make it a little bit shorter. But until next time, I'm Papa Ken, and I will see you in the next video.